Hello, Insta world. Today is Thursday, so that means I'm thirsty. I mean, I'm pretty much thirsty every day. Make a pretty good reason to have a cocktail day, but just the month of September, we're doing Thirsty Thursday. So today, we're gonna bring you two different cocktails, and both very seasonal that you can serve at any party or just make on a Saturday, just cause. Let me take you over to our tray. We set up this really cute tray with all our ingredients, just like cooking a recipe, we have ingredients for this. And um, the first drink we're gonna make is called the Teacher's Aid. And it's just a little tribute to all our teachers that went back, a little something you put on a Friday, have a cocktail, and remember that you still got 200 something more days to go with these children. Um, with all our cocktails, we really tried to keep them fruit forward, really simple and easy to make at home, something everyone would probably have at home if you have about one or two ingredients, but drinkable for all occasions. So let's get started. All right, so first one we're gonna do is the teacher's aid, which, let's move this glass on, let's turn no accidents. This is the glass we're using. We're gonna get a shaker, and in the shaker I have ice, and like I said, I pre-portion like everything out. So it's one shot of citrus vodka. It is two ounces of cranberry juice, and I use the Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice. And then we're gonna put some pomegranates in there. Fresh orange. So I cut them in slices because I'm gonna garnish it with it, but as well as juicing a little bit of juice in there. And two pieces of mint that I'm just gonna kind of rip up with my hands. Throw them in there. No need to happy. Um, as soon as that's on, Pop the top on, we're gonna shake. Now, these recipes are all portioned properly for the right flavor. So like me, you wanna make it a little bit stronger, you get two shots of vodka. Shaking it up nice and cold. I'm gonna put that in here. It's nice and pink. To top it off, we have around two ounces of ginger ale that are gonna float. If you don't want to use ginger ale and you want to use Prosecco, feel free. And then we're gonna garnish it like this. Piece of mint, an orange, floating. I made a little cut. It's gonna go on the glass like this. Oh, hold on, wait there. Yes, I cheated. I went and bought the pomegranate seeds already show because I was being lazy, but I want to add a little bit in there for the drink. And now, turn it around, I'll bring it in for you guys. Cocktail number one, it's called the Teacher's Aid. Ooh, that's good. The cranberry is nice and tart. Um, I love the fresh orange juice. You can do it with a little lemon zest too, I thought, and the mint, but it all being shook really good together just made all the flavors come together. Drink number two. So this one doesn't need a shaker, but we're gonna use a champagne flute. And I'm gonna take a fresh orange and rim the glass like this. And over here in my plate, I put a little brown sugar and regular sugar. And we're just gonna rim the cup. Um, I also put a pinch of cinnamon in there just because I like the flavor. We're in the cup. And everything's measured out, again, so, in here, this is um, one shot of vanilla vodka. This is pear nectar and apple cider. I get the apple cider from Delicious Orchards. I love them there. Put that in. Then we're gonna have the best pot. You can buy the big bottle, but I had these from a party and I figured I'd use them. I use them as a favor at a wedding we did like last week. Um, so, champagne, to top it off, making a hot mess here. Um, we have the brown sugar, cinnamon and sugar rim. We have the nectar. I sliced up some fresh boss pears and some regular apples. I am dripping. I'm gonna pull off. I can't bring this to you if I make I'm gonna drip. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's like fall in your mouth with bubbles. What?